It's Wednesday, May 28th, and happy birthday, Rob Ford! Welcome to No Filter, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan, and these are your top headlines of the day. Speaking of Rob Ford, in what may be a weird birthday gift to him, porn star Nikki Benz has announced that she is going to be running for mayor of Toronto. Let's take a look at Nikki Benz, mayoral candidate. There she is. She says she's going to be running for mayor, unless, of course, she gets hit by that bus that's about to hit her. Actually, if you take a closer look at that photo, I think we might recognize the guy who's driving that, that vehicle. Photo surface of Johnny Manziel spending Memorial Day weekend in Vegas, partying poolside with Rob Gronkowski and Polly D. Hey, guys, sometimes Johnny Manziel is going to run into other NFL players. It's a small world after all. <laughs> Menzel said on Instagram that he was enjoying the weekend while studying the Browns playbook. In his defense, the Browns playbook is just a Kindle version of one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> Kim and Kanye obviously got married over the weekend. If you got through the weekend without hearing about that once, then congratulations, I wish I was you. Uh, but Kanye unveiled a brand new track at his wedding called God Level. It's also part of Adidas' just-released FIFA World Cup commercial. Obviously, this came during the part of the ceremony uh, where the groom traditionally debuts a new track. Jaden Smith was in attendance at the wedding, uh, and he decided to one-up Kimye at their own party. He wore a white Batman costume. Everybody knows you don't wear Batman to someone else's wedding. <laughs> The Rio Hotel, where the England team will stay during the World Cup, has been fined for not providing condoms to guests. What's a condom, said Brazil. <laughs> and then somebody was like, oh, it's that thing you use when you want to have sex, you don't want to get them pregnant? And they were like, oh, <laughs> sex? <laughs> Arby's is airing a 13-hour brisket commercial online today. The ad will run before every two-minute YouTube video you try to watch. But I think it's safe to say Rob Ryan is going to go over his data streaming limit this month. <laughs> also, while I was on vacation this weekend, I guess it was like as the story hit, my, all my at mentions on Twitter were pictures of Rob Ryan dancing at the Greek festival. It had like 40. And it was one of those moments where I sat down and was like, the internet's pretty cool sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time, scary and makes me buy extra locks for my doors. But times like that, it's pretty cool. Fast food chains pushing to be healthier has caused an unprecedented egg white shortage. Whoa. As Donald Sterling would say at a basketball game, we're going to need some more whites. <laughs> In an interview with SI.com's Peter King, soon to be 37-year-old Tom Brady said he feels better today than he did when he was 25. He said, quote, you know, you don't have to suck when you get older. But you can if you want to, said Betty White as she slid out her dentures and winked at you. <laughs> Today's teenagers are apparently the best behaved generation on record. High school seniors are reportedly smoking less, drinking less, and barely doing cocaine. Oddly enough, that is the working title of my autobiography. <laughs> Police in Virginia arrested Baltimore Ravens rookie running back Lorenzo Taliaferro over the weekend for destruction of property and public intoxication, making him the fourth Raven to be arrested this offseason. The Ravens plan to live tweet a press conference in which the property apologizes for being destructed. Phillies manager Ryan Sandberg said something absolutely ridiculous, uh, I think over the weekend, so ridiculous that it inspired us to come up with a new segment that we're calling, what did he mean when he said that thing he said? It's a working title, we'll come up. <laughs> Probably was something better. Uh, here's the quote. I did that as a youngster, maybe four or five years old, maybe six years old. I don't know. I guess I was hungry. I still remember the crunchiness, crunchiness of it was the biggest thing. This wasn't a one-time thing either. This went on for about a year as a little snack. <laughs> what was he talking about when he said that quote that he said? Was it A, raw pasta, B, cat food, or C, rocks? I'm going to do dance break while you think about it. Okay, if you said B, cat food, you're correct. And probably have had cat food before, because how else would you know that that's what he was talking about? <laughs> this wasn't a one-time thing either. Don't write this off as not weird. Let me finish. It was weird, because I did it for a year. 
And the last bit of kind of news, uh, as I'm sure you guys know, there's a competition to figure out who's going to be on the cover of NHL 15, and it's down to uh, Patrice Bergeron and uh, P.K. Subban. I said on Twitter the other day that if you guys tweet the hashtag NHL 15 Bergeron and we get him to actually win, uh, I'll play one of you in NHL 15 on No Filter. So I guess I have to, got to follow through on that. So keep tweeting hashtag NHL 15 Bergeron at me. You want to throw in like hashtag No Filter. That's cool. Free publicity. We'll take it. Um, and I uh, will pick a winner just based on, you know, what I'm feeling like. Who looks the least weird? <laughs> it's going to be tough. But he has to win in order for this to happen. He has to win. And I'm not like flying you to New York and putting you up in a, we'll probably just do it like online, maybe. All right, guys, that's it for No Filter. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Katie Nolan. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, subscribe to our podcast. Hashtag NHL 15 Bergeron. Are there any other things I have to remind them to do? Uh, and we will see you back here on Friday when we figure out why I don't have any nipples. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>